Dylan Dubé, uh, welcome back to town, and how was your Christmas? Yeah, it was good. It was a little crazy at uh, one point. Uh, you know, I didn't get to see my family, anybody, but uh, I guess you could say that team we made was a new one, and you know, it was great to be with them. And when you spend a holiday like that, you almost come tighter because you know you're missing home a lot, so you're with each other a lot. So it was nice to have them, but. I know it's a pretty special Christmas this year. Oh, yeah. Well, the gold medal around your neck tells all. Uh, is this medal, you think, maybe a little more special considering what happened last year at the World Juniors coming oh so close? Yeah, I think it was. I think, you know, almost the best feeling right now is not a having to answer about the shootout and if I think it should be in the games <laughs> or not because it was so tough to handle that last year and all the seven guys who came back when... We were going into that third period with 20 minutes left. We're all we're all saying we could give a perfect period right now, and that's what we needed. And you know, lucky enough, Steenberg and a Western guy um, put that up on the board, and it was unbelievable to have that. I think, you know, when we scored that third goal, the empty netter, that was the celebration, and that was probably the best high I've ever had in, in winning a game. So it's pretty incredible. What's going through your mind on the bench? You went through last year the overtime and the shootout. You're one one with what two and a half minutes left before Tyler scores the the game winner. What's going through your mind on the bench? You're thinking, oh gosh, here we go again. Yeah, uh, actually, I was uh, right then. I was kind of yelling on the bench. I was saying it's overtime right now. Next goal wins. So. Um, let's bear down here and then right before I got all of it out he scored and I just was like no way like perfect timing and at that point all I could think about oh there's two minutes left that's all I could think about was we got to shut them down and then we got that empty netter and luckily enough my line got to go out with 50 seconds left and I'm like I'm not getting off the ice until that buzzer goes so I was on there and you know my line was on when we celebrated and that was probably the best experience seeing the guys come off the bench and all of us huddling around each other. Points-wise, um, it, it was a bit of a struggle for you at times at the World Juniors, but take us to that final game. You get the first goal, uh, the one nothing goal. Take us through that. Yeah, it was good. I think overall it was nice to nice to come up in the in the in that big game. Obviously, that first one didn't count, so I was a little frustrated with that, and I wanted to get one to get the, loosen up the guys a little bit. And there was tense in the bench um, with a zero zero game like that. So overall, it was nice to get that, and uh, I think that gave us a little boost. Talk about the goal itself. Yeah, I think, you know, obviously it was a good down low play by Timmons even to create that battle. And then we kind of rushed it up the ice. And um, Kairou, unbelievable player, great skill. He kind of feathered that through to me. And, you know, all I had to do was shoot it. So it was nice. It made it, uh, made it look like a nice goal, but it was pretty easy to do with the line mates I was with. What's the emotion like skating around the ice after the win with the Canadian flag draped around you? Yeah, you know, I almost like blanked out. Um, you know, I think probably the proudest moment I had was when I saw my parents in the corner and they're videoing and I had the trophy in front of them and, you know, they've done so much for me there in Montreal last year. They came to every single game and uh, I remember sitting in the room with them after and just couldn't believe that happened last year and now this year is completely different. Uh, you know, my family's world champions now and everybody is, so uh, it's pretty special to have them around with me. Can you put into perspective what it's like winning a championship like this uh, with a group of guys that you... I mean, some of them you, you, you've you played with before, but basically a group of guys that come together for two, three weeks as opposed to winning a championship with, with your club team. Yeah, I think with this it's a little different. Obviously, with a 72-game year, there's uh, you know there's some hard times with your teammates. It's, you, you really, you really got to get to know the guy. You really kind of see what they're all about. But here it's kind of you become each other's best friends because you're not with each other long enough where you get that nagging something about them and it's so short time that uh, you know you're at the last week of the tournament and you're all best friends.